Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new show. It feels like it's been a while since I've started a new show. It probably hasn't because it just feels like I've been doing this YouTube for years, even though it's only been a couple of months. <laughs> but today I'm starting the first episode of The 100. Now, I don't actually know anything about the show. I know it's pretty much finishing now or soon. And as like with Supernatural, it's finishing. So I decided it's the perfect time to start watching it. But basically, it's a show that I know nothing about. But it's been on my radar for years, and I think that's because there's a channel in the UK called E4, and it used to always be adverts for the 100 on it, in between like Big Bang Theory, or Friends, or other shows that were on, on E4. The 100 was always advertised, and it always looked super interesting. I just never watched it, because I'm the kind of weird person that I have to watch things from the beginning. I can't just jump in randomly on a random episode and watch a random show. I have to start from episode 1. So I just never got around to it. So I just thought, hey, why not start today? Today's as good a day as any. So, like I said, I don't really know anything about the show. I know there's an actor in it who was in Hollyoaks. I can't for the life of me remember what his actual actor's name is. I don't know how big a character he is, but I know he's in the show at some point. Other than that, I don't know anything about the show. So let's just jump into the first episode of The 100. Oh, if you're new to this channel and you're thinking that my hair's a mess, get used to it because it's always a mess. It just never does what I want it to ever. <laughs> In this moment, I'm not it's stranded nice in space. So she's in space. It's been 97 years since a nuclear apocalypse killed everyone on Earth, leaving the planet okay. in radiation. Okay, scary. Fortunately, there apocalypse still freaks me out. Twelve nations had operational space stations at the time of the bombs. There is now only the Ark. We're told the Earth needs another hundred years to become survivable again. Four more space lock generations but. and man can go home. Back to the ground. The ground. That's the dream. Three, one, nine. Face the wall. Reality. Sucks. I do remember that it was about people in space briefly from the adverts, but. Hold out your right arm. No, no, it's not my time. I don't turn eighteen for another month. What is going on here? Every crime, no matter how small, is punishable by death unless you're under eighteen. Just seems extreme. Juvenile offenders get put here. So the arc's like a prison. Or at least part of it is. Wait here. Mom? Mom? What's going on? What's happening? <laughs> They're killing us all, aren't they? Reducing population to make more time for the rest of you. Clark, you are not being executed. You're being sent to the ground. Okay, so essentially the hundred prisoners, maybe the ones that are sentenced to death rather than getting them killed, are being sent Earth, Clark. to Earth. You get to go to Earth. Clark, okay. Okay, I'm just going to say that that is a lot of information in the space of, like, what, two and a half minutes? Oh, brother. <laughs> Look. Wells, why the hell are you here? When I found out they were sending prisoners to the ground, I got myself arrested. I came for you. We have no idea what is waiting for you down there. If the odds of survival were better, we would have sent others. <laughs> Frankly, we're sending you because your crimes have made you expendable. Yeah, that's exactly what I was going to use, expendable. So they're going as like a reconnaissance mission? Some of these characters are kind of annoying already. Hey, it's the guy from Lost. Okay, another backstory to delve into later, later on. <laughs> that explains why she doesn't like him anyway. But there's probably more to the story than we know. I feel like there's going to be things on Earth, people will still live in there, creatures maybe. The air could be toxic. The air's toxic, we're all dead anyway. <laughs> Bellamy? Who's this? Bright lights. So what does the Earth look like after a nuclear apocalypse? Pretty good. <laughs> I like the scenery, the contrast of the metal spaceship, you know, the greenery of Earth. It's quite a nice visual. They're very excited considering the fact they don't know if they're going to die yet. 
because to say the place isn't inhabitable, it takes a bit longer than that to manifest itself. <laughs> Especially when they're playing the song Radioactive in the background. <laughs> There's a radiation soaked forest between us and our next meal. They dropped us on the wrong damn mountain. Granted, they've only been on the ground for seven minutes, but as of now, we believe the fatalities are due to the landing, not radiation level. Would you agree that if it was radiation, we'd see fatalities climb fairly quickly now? Because I'm noticing a lot of red on that board. Not necessarily. Especially if Earth's been inhabited for a while, the radiation levels will have gone down. So the fatalities won't be so sudden so quickly surely you're not listening we all need to go look at this everybody the chancellor of earth <laughs> i think that's funny whoever decided to put a group of criminals together to work together on a planet was terrible terrible plan just twat him where did you come from <laughs> kids got one leg how about you wait until it's a fair fight Hey, Spacewalker! Rescue me next. <laughs> what? He's cute. <laughs> He's a criminal. That he is. They're all criminals. You'd think like they'd want to move with more purpose, because the they've got no food, and they've got to get quite a distance. Were you trying to take this off? Yeah. So? So, this wristband transmits your vital signs to the Ark. Take it and off and they'll think you're dead. You're I dead. feel like that's going to be used at some point to, you down here in to trick them. They won't. Before you get any ideas, Finn's mine. Before you get any ideas, I don't care. I sense a love triangle. Abby? What's wrong? The Chancellor's been shot. Oh, is that what he did? You know, he said he did some. That dude said he done something bad that they're going to want to hunt him for. Did he shoot the Chancellor? My friend is game. That, my friend, is poison sumac. What? <laughs> it is? Oh, there's still animals here. No animals, huh? Ooh. Jesus. Well, I didn't expect that. <laughs> I mean, it's bound to happen. A nuclear apocalypse, if the animals survived. Chances are they're mutated. If only the chance are still in surgery, but we have ID the shooter. Bellamy Blake is the only person on the arc unaccounted for. Bellamy. He's no one. If you watch any of my reactions, you'll know that my memory of names is terrible. As Chancellor Pro Tempore, you can give the order to start reducing the population. Not yet. Sir, we're hmm. wasting time. I don't trust this guy. There's always some shady guy involved in running the place in every show ever. You know, my father, he begged for mercy in the airlock chamber when your father floated him. God, shut the fuck up. Why, why, why? Right now, those things are telling them whether or not it's safe to follow us down. Okay, you said we could stop it. How? Take them off. The Ark will think you're dead. That it's not safe to follow. You follow? One second find the next bang isn't how exposure to radiation presents. Thank you. Well, it could be. Someone finally speaking sense good. about radiation. <laughs> finally someone who understands how radiation works. The arc is dying. At the current population level, there's roughly three months left of life support. Maybe four now that we're gone. So that's what the guy who's in charge was trying to do. He's gonna try and cut the numbers down. So that everyone else can survive. So flowing, does that mean death in the show? I'm probably wrong in that, but let me know down below. Like, because they keep saying like, float them. Does that mean kill them? Or maybe because it's because you put the body out, body out into space, they float. There's not supposed to be a river here. Well, there is. So take off your damn clothes. You don't know if the water's radiated or not. Wait, is that a crocodile? Okay, 
What just happened? It doesn't look like a crocodile, it looks more like a... Like a sort of like a giant, kind of like an eel creature. I have no sympathy though. Like, you just shouldn't go in water that you don't know what you're walking into. Ricky Whittle. <laughs> just remember the guy who was in Hollyoaks that I know is on the show at some point. That sounds like a bad idea. That's the point, Chancellor. We can take care of ourselves. Can we? Just a, less than a hundred of you on your own on the planet. It's not you're not gonna last long though, are you? Even if you try and procreate, try and survive, inevitably people are gonna die of viruses, illnesses, creatures that we've not met yet, and they're probably gonna kill each other. Some of them because they are all violent criminals. Some of them. Some of them. Okay, just pause a second. I have a lot of thoughts. I just want to say it now before I forget, because there's a few times on the shows where I've said, I'll talk about this at the end, and I haven't. I mean, I don't know how I feel about these... the way a lot of these prisoners are reacting to the situation. Because I get that you've been locked up for... in some cases, like Octavia, their whole life, and now they're free. And that's a reason to celebrate, I get that. And they're not under the thumb of the the rulers that are up on the Ark. Great, they want to celebrate, but it doesn't apply to all of them, but the majority of them, like this group here, don't seem to think about the fact that they need to eat and get water to survive. They've not taken any consideration into the fact that the Earth may still be radiated. They've made no attempt to go and find somewhere to get shelter and get food. So I don't know how I feel because it feels like maybe it was the way it was written, but they're just trying to show two extremes of people, which I get. But I feel like even the extremes of people who would be like, yes, we're free, let's party and, and celebrate, would also be kind of like, well, we need to eat and we need to find somewhere safe to, to, to live, at least temporarily, like a shelter from the storm. And so I just don't know. I feel like it feels like a lot of these people are just acting stupid at the moment, and that's probably intentional. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's just how I feel at the moment. You're under arrest for exceeding the maximum medical supplies allowed for a patient. You leave me no choice but to find you guilty. We always have a choice. Oh, shut up. Kane. You are hereby sentenced to death. Wah, 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 wah. Bullshit. Between us, Kane. I choose to make sure that we deserve to stay alive. Oh. If she could have backhanded him at that point, she would have done. Come on. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a love triangle vice between these two and Octavia. And if I have to take us down to a cosmic Adam and Eve. Oh, I what do it. right do you have, you not bad? Who gave you the right to make that choice? Oh god. This plan is stupid. You might be pretty, but you're stupid. <laughs> I hope she doesn't die. Please find a way out of her. <laughs> Jackson, use the wristband. There may be a way to reverse engineer them for communication. Talk to Sinclair in engineering. Not if you understand. That sounds like a death thing. Do you like some of the character always? Shout some important information just before they die. Stop. Dr. Griffin is pardoned. Ha! In your face, dickhead. Oh, I'm more invested than I thought I was. <laughs> Hit him. Not him. Trying to impress the girl. Oh, he's cute, but I feel like she's not interested in you. It's all really positive sounds, positive music. Episode's almost over. Uh. Okay, I'm surprised. I thought like the episode's getting on the cliffhanger when like the rope broke and he cracked his head or something and died. 
I'm nervous by all this positivity. Like, the shows that I normally watch, this doesn't happen. <laughs> Knew it! That was signposted so obviously. Definitely not. Okay, so that was the first episode of The 100. I have like mixed feelings on it, to be honest. So I'll talk about what I liked first. I actually really enjoyed the concept of the show. So the whole plot line of there was a nuclear apocalypse on Earth, the remaining humans went to a spaceship called the Ark, and kind of like lived through spaceships and stuff in the Ark is what was left of them. Great concept. And I think it's kind of interesting the way they were dealing with criminals, which was to send them to Earth as like test subjects almost, do like a reconnaissance mission to find out if the Earth is inhabitable because they are expendable, quote unquote. We don't really know why they're all in prison. So I feel like there's going to be people that are in there, but they're innocent or people who don't deserve to be there. Because the people who run the art place look shady as hell. Not all of them, like the actual commander guy, the one who was shot, he seemed okay, from what little we know of him, and there are people that are trying to do better, but that guy is like Henry Ian Cusack's character, can't remember what his character's called, he was really shady, and I didn't like him, but there's always going to be shady characters in these shows, so I've got to get used to it, I feel like he's going to be spending a lot of time fighting for power, trying to carry on with his plan of getting rid of humans to help them survive, but yeah, the base concept of the show was interesting, and these people coming to Earth who've never been on Earth before, experiencing new things. Like, they seem to know quite a lot about Earth. They knew the name of animals, they knew that it was a forest. And maybe that's just part of what we've got to just kind of, you know, suspend your, dis your belief a little bit, that they just know all this stuff. Um, but it was interesting to see them kind of approaching this new planet. New planet. I did say during the episode I had a bit of an issue with how they were reacting. I feel like, yes, they were waiting for these people to go out and get food and drink for them. But I feel like when you're on such an unknown area, you don't know the radiation, you don't know what creatures are there, you don't know if there's any life forms, you just don't know what you're facing. They should all put more effort into finding food and water. But that's just me thinking as a sensible person. A lot of the people on that planet, of, of the hundred people that went down, are not sensible people. Let's be honest, some of them are pretty stupid. I like the whole plan to get rid of the bracelets. I don't agree with it. I understand that this dude wants to do it. The I can't remember what his name was. The one who was the brother to Octavia. I am terrible with names. You'll get used to it. <laughs> I get that he didn't want them to come down. He wanted them to think he was dead. And everyone was dead. So they don't follow because he shot the governor guy. Or the chancellor. Whichever. I think it was the chancellor. So he, was, he wants to be left alone. He wants to live his own life. But like I said. When there's now less than 100 people... And as far as they're concerned, there's nobody else on the planet. I feel like that's a really idiotic way to think because you need people to survive and to recreate and pro procreate. Like, there is women and men on there, so they can make babies and stuff. But I don't think there's enough people that just, by the way the world works, a lot of people just die randomly from illnesses and accidents and injuries. And we've only got 100 people on the planet that they know of. Obviously, there's clearly more. That number's not going to last very long. They've already lost at least four people that I remember. So they're down to 96. So that's 4% of the people that they've already gone like that. It's not going to be long before more people die. So I just feel like I get what they're thinking, but it is flawed. In terms of characters that I enjoyed, I really enjoyed the lady who was the main girl's mum. I'm going to have to describe them just by who they are because I can't remember. But she seemed quite like a badass. I was so happy she didn't die. That was the moment where I really started to feel like I was invested. Because before that, I wasn't overly invested in the characters. But that was the first moment where I realised, like, right, okay. I care about her. So that's a good start. <laughs> I quite liked the dude who had the one leg. He didn't really do a lot. But he seemed like he has a smart head on his shoulders. I feel like quite sorry for him. He's disabled and in a position that's not his fault. Like, a lot of the people are having a go at him because of his dad's, dad's actions, and I don't think that's fair. It's not his fault what his dad did. So that I had an issue with that. Octavia, I'm not sure how I feel about her. I do kind of like her, because she's kind of sassy, a bit of a badass. 
but I feel like she doesn't really think about what she's doing. She kind of acts and then thinks later. Like, when she jumps into the lake, I could have told you before she jumped in that lake that something bad was going to happen. I don't know if it could be radiation or an accident or, like in this instance, a creature, like it was like a snake creature. But she just didn't think, she just jumped in. I think that's really irresponsible. Radiation, more than anything else, they should be concerned about. Because like they said on the ship, Initially, they were saying, like, what, what, they should be dying straight away if there's radiation. But then, like they said later on, that the mum said, radiation doesn't always happen straight away. Like, it does take time. So, they should be more concerned about that, but they're not. I think my main issue with this episode is the beginning 20 minutes, maybe, of it. Third, maybe, quarter of the episode. It just felt like a lot of things just thrown at you at once. Now, I know it's a pilot episode, and some pilot episodes can start with... A lot of information given to you. But there's the phrase, which I don't know the exact word in, but it's essentially, it's better to show, not tell. And that means, like, it's better for the viewers to discover this information and kind of come to the conclusions themselves. But this this show kind of felt like it spoon-fed all the information to the audience straight away. But it felt like about 20 minutes of just an information dump. And that didn't work for me. I felt like it was a really bad start. The pacing was just off. Like, it was... The big musical start about what we learned about Earth, and then she was dragged out of the prison cell, and then she was in a spaceship, and then she's rocketed down to Earth, and then it crash lands, and there was just a lot of music, a lot of noise, a lot of voices, a lot of people, and it was just a bit too much, whether that's just me, and there's a potential that maybe they're condensing maybe a good few chapters of the book, because I think it said at the beginning it's based on a book, and they're maybe trying to condense quite a bit of the first book into one episode, because they want to try and get to like probably more exciting parts but I feel like they could have spread out the beginning to a couple of episodes like really build up that these criminals are having a hard life and that this is an escape for them make us feel sorry for them make us have sympathy make us want them to get to earth for a freedom you know does that make sense it just felt like we had to get invested in these characters a bit too quickly and maybe that's just me about 20 minutes in I was just a little bit like I don't know how I feel about this, because if it carries on this way, it's just going to be too much for me. <laughs> but it did slow down a bit, and it seemed to, once he got to Earth, it took a step back, let just moments of calm happen, like when they stepped out onto the Earth planet, just the breathing the air in, and uh, we're here. Yes, the script is a little cheesy. I think a lot of people can admit that. It does feel a little, a lot of the scripting is a bit cliche, in some of the things that they say. Um, but maybe that's just like first few episodes. It takes a while to get into the comfort of the characters. So I'm, I'm assuming it's going to get a lot better than this. Because like I say when I saw the adverts. It didn't look like a cheesy show. And it's gotten so popular. So it can't be bad. I am intrigued to find out who's on the planet. Yeah I'm intrigued to see who they are. Because we don't know anything about them. We don't know if they're human. If they're mutated. Where they've been. We just know that they throw giant spears. And if you any of you ever played Dark Souls. When he got, like, taken out by that giant spear, there's a, a part of the very first Dark Souls game, yes, I'm a proper nerd, where you go to a place called Anno Londo, and you're trying to get on top of this building, but there's these, like, crossbow-wielding guys that have, like, giant fucking crossbows that are, like, this fucking big, and then they fire them at you, and it literally just, like, shoots you backwards. That's the first thought I had, and that made me laugh, because it's like, oh, Anno Londo, it feels like we're on Dark Souls, but... With a lot more forests and stuff. I am intrigued to see where the series goes. I'm not totally invested in all the characters yet. But I feel like that will come with time. Let me know down in the comments below if you enjoyed this reaction. And if you want to see more. Please subscribe if you did enjoy it. Because it does help the channel out. If you've never watched any of my channel before. But you're watching this one. Hi. My name is Scott. I hope you guys are okay. And welcome. Um, just to let you know. I work full time. So in terms of how frequent these episodes are going to come out. If people are enjoying it. I don't know right now. I want to say once a week. I'd like to do it more, but I work five days a week, 40 odd hours a week, I have a relationship, so I do this in my spare time, I'd love this to be a career in the future, so, you know, please subscribe and help out the channel, that really does lead me to get to a point where I can start earning some money from this, and I can do more episodes more often, uh, but at the moment I'm looking at maybe one a week, but we'll see if anyone watches it, if nobody watches it, I might do it less often, uh, so yeah, please just give me some support if you enjoyed it, and as I do at the end of all my episodes, my name is Scott, I hope you guys are well. Hope you're taking care of yourselves. There's some videos to my right that you might be interested in taking a look at. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this reaction. Leave some comments down below so we can get chatting. I'll see you all in the next one and thanks for watching guys.